EA Sports. It's in the game. EA Sports. It's in the game. MVP Baseball 2004. Welcome to the Great American Ballpark. Hi again, everybody. I'm Dwayne Kuyper with former 20-game winner Mike Kruko for EA Sports MVP Baseball. This game features the Minnesota Twins and the Cincinnati Reds. And now, here's today's starting pitcher, Aaron Harang. Parker, I know you've got your eye on one guy in this game. Who is it? Corey Koski is a run-producing machine. Anytime he steps up with runners on, the pitcher better be careful not to give him too much to hit, or he will bring that run in. Swinging stride. Swung early at that one. The pitcher tried to get the bat and go fishing, and he did, but came up empty. He fouled it off to the left. The delivery. Foul ball off his foot. He pulls a ground ball to the left side. Larson gloves the grounder. One away. Luis Riva steps into the batter's box. Fouled away. Strike two. The pitch is hit to left field. Makes the catch to record the out. Doug Minkavich is up. There's strike one. That's pinpoint execution. The pitcher threw the ball right where the catcher had set up. Harang sets him down in order. Parker, he gets ahead of him and never looks back. Sweet strikeout. Taking the mound to start for the visitors, Brad Radke. up Barry Larkin there's pitch swing and a miss he was late foul ball hit down the right side Radke sits him down with strike three he didn't waste any time he went right after it gets about three straight strikes Sean Casey is next up. And the pitch. Ground ball pulled to the right side. Menkevich scoops up the ball. They just get him. He did a nice job to keep his glove down and low the ground to get that ground ball. Nice play. Ground ball hit down the left side. Koski gathers the grounder. He's out. After one, the game is scoreless. Leading off the second, Tory Hunter. Center field. Tory Hunter. Pitch inside. That was by him before he swung. Back up the middle. 
Castro loves the ball. Got him. And Stepping in, Corey Koski. Low. It's hit out to right. The right fielder is gliding under it. Kearns and makes the catch for the out. Now the plate. The catcher. Matt. And there's a stride. Sweet curveball right there, partner. He delivered it right where he wanted to for a called strike. That's fouled off his foot. One ball, two strikes. That was a purpose pitch. He was trying to get the batter to chase. Two and two. Pitch misses. Two outs and the bases are empty. Lines one the other way. Stand up double. All right, let's see if they can take advantage of that now that they've got that guy in scoring position. God, you do not want to waste too many of these chances. Now let's see if they can come through with a big hit right now with the runner in scoring position. Swung on and missed the pitch on the corner. That was a terrific pitch, partner. Curveball on the edge of the strike zone. The batter swung right through it. One and two the count. He fouled it off to the left. And with that, the side is retired. In the middle of the inning, no score here. Here's the pitch. That's foul. It's hit back up the middle. Second baseman makes the catch. Good pitch. Got him to produce that easy pop-up. Adam Dunn is the next hitter. Late swing. No one on and one out. The count's 0-2. Strike three at the knees. Three pitches, three strikes. Doesn't get easier than that, partner. Up next, Juan Castro. Shallow fly to left field. He's got it. What a tremendous diving play. It kite the swing was there that time, but unfortunately for him, he hit it off the end of the bat. After two innings, the game is scoreless. Leading off the inning, Christian Guzman. Here it comes. Hit off the end of the bat. Dunn glides over, and he puts it away for the out. That's cute. Casey makes it look easy. They barely got him. The next batter is Shannon Stewart. His last at bat was a ground up. And that one's a strike. Cued off the end of the bat. Castro gathers the short hop. Got him at first base. In the middle of the third, no score here. Leading off, Jason LaRue. Here's the pitch. Misses away for a ball. Sometimes you try to make the hit and chase your pitch. That's exactly what you saw right there. And the pitch. The pitch misses. Good eye. 
Threw that curveball just out of the zone, but the batter didn't bite. Two balls, two strikes. Hit the other way to the right side. Menkevich feels they make the play. Brandon Larson steps into the box. Pitch taken for a ball. The 1-0 pitch. Hit down the line. The catch is made. Next at the plate, Aaron Harang. Two outs and nobody on. Pitch misses for a ball. Strike called at the letters. One ball and one strike. Radke retires the side in order. After three innings, the game is scoreless. Now batting, the second baseman, Luis Rivas. That one's way out of here. What a shot. And the bunch kept going and going and going. Sweet work on the solo. Harang needs to rebound right here. After a home run, the best thing a pitcher can do is tip his cap and get after the next guy. Menkevich makes his way to the plate. Oh. Takes the pitch high. Two old count. If the hitter can get the count in his favor, a walk can be just as good as a hit. Fastball for a strike. They check with the third base umpire. No. He pulled the bat back in time. Ground ball taken to the left side. Larson feels it. There's an out. Oh man, did he get a good jump on that ground ball? That's some good range. Hunter takes ball one. Threw one out of the zone, but the fish weren't biting. Right one. And that one's in there for a strike. The pitcher really painted the corner of that delivery. That's some nice pitching, partner. Larkin feels the grounder, and they got him at first. Koski will hit next. There's a strike. Oh. Arang misses, evening the count at one. That pitch just missed the target on the corner of the plate. Lying shot. Done. Puts it away. In the middle of the inning, the Reds trail by one. The Reds have a righty warming up in the bullpen. Hits one to shallow left. There's a base hit. That was good execution right there. That could really build the momentum in their favor. Right now, the defense should be thinking, too. The pitcher can really help out by throwing something low in the strike zone. Line drive to center field. He's around second. Casey reaches with no outs. They're making their own breaks on the bases today, Kite. That was some good base running there to go from first to third in the single. The count's 1-0. Oh. It's hit to the right side. Menkevich oh. makes the easy catch. No problem on that pop-up. Kearns strolls to the plate. Spoil the pitch, foul. Strike, good pitch. And here's the delivery. 
Ball. One ball and two strikes. He wanted the hitter to chase that slider right out of the zone. Strikeout swing. That's three strikeouts. Well, that's just an ugly swing. Easy money. Swung right through the inside pitch. Just out of the fielder's reach. And a run scores. That's an RBI single. Kind of good job of hitting away from the defense right there. Found a hole. Castro is next. The delivery. Cut on and miss. The pitch is taken out to right. The right fielder is drifting under it. After four innings, it's a one-to-one -one tie. The Twins have someone warming up in the bullpen. Now the plate. Here comes the first pitch of the at-bat. That's a strike. That is pinpoint control right there. The catcher set a target on the corner, and the pitcher just hammered it for a strike. That'll go for extra bases. And he's in there standing with a double. LaCroix hammered that pitch into the outfield for a two-base hit. Now with the plate, Chuck Jones. Winds and throws. Jones pulls the pitch to right field. It's a single. From the time that ball left the bat, that ball had no chance of being caught. Now batting, Christian Guzman. All you want to do right here is make sure you drive the ball to the outfield. Oh. Fastball up and in. Hit to the left side. Larson loves the ball. Just got him. Score that one a fielder's choice. Next up, Brad Radke. He grounded out his last at bat. That one's driven way back and gone. Home run. Radke just picked up three RBIs on one swing. Talk about efficiency. That is getting the job done. Kai, as a pitcher, you're never happy about giving up a big fly. The key, though, is bouncing back. Let's see if this pitcher is resilient or if he unravels. Didn't get good wood on that one at all. Casey stays with the grounder. He's out. If the infield backs up one step, he'll put that up. And there's a swing and a miss. And the count is 0-2. No one on and two outs. Deep fly ball to center field. That'll do it for the Twins in the fifth. In the middle of the inning, the Twins lead 4-1. The Reds have someone tossing in the bullpen. Stepping in, Jason LaRue. He grounded out his last time up. He fisted that one. Radke scoops up the grounder. He's out. Tell you, Kipe, he made a nice play to get to that ball. Larson comes to the plate. 
That's a low stride. Swung on and missed. Partner, that's what you call a purpose pitch. He made the other guy swing and miss on one out of the zone. That's a pitcher strike. Guzman gathers the ball. Menkevich scoops it up. That's a nice play. He stayed right on it, made a good play. Horan steps into the batter's box. First pitch of the at bat coming. The pitch is hit to the right. It's a fair ball. He reaches with a single. Hitting is as much mental as it is physical, Kai. The batter's got to know what he can do and what the situation is at all times. The pitch is fouled away. Larkin takes. It's even at one. Working quickly, here's the pitch. Hit weakly towards the first baseman. With four innings left, the Twins lead 4-1. Today's game is brought to you by EA Sports. EA Sports, it's in the game. And the pitch. That one just missed. Takes the first pitch high. Taken out to the left side. Larson feels the ground ball, and he's out. Up next, Torrey Hunter. He was retired on a grounder in his last at bat. What a win. Good eye. That's a ball. Fouled away to the right. He's got it for the out. The next batter is Corey Toski. Fly ball pulled out to right. Kearns drifts over. Harangue with a 1-2-3 inning. Going into the bottom of the sixth, Cincinnati trails by three. Casey takes his turn up back. In his last trip to the plate, he singled. Hit to right field. The right fielder glides over. He barely had to move and makes the catch. Now it's play. Center field. Strike with a fastball. That's a nice pitch. The catcher set up on the corner, and the pitcher nailed it. Base is empty with one out. Struck him out swinging. He didn't waste any time. He went right after it. Gets him on three straight strikes. Deals. Gets the call for a strike. Two outs and the bases are empty. Out of the zone, that's a ball. The count's one and two. The pitch. Two and two, the count. Three, two count. Turns, swings and misses, strike three. Hey, Kai, if he was able to get ahead in the count, the batter never caught up. Good strikeout. After six innings, the score is four to one. Now batting, the catcher, He delivers. Hanging curveball misses high for a ball. And that's a strike to even the count. Strike two. He let that one go by for a strike. 
The pitch is hit up the middle. Harang feels the ball. Got him. God, that was a pretty good play right there. Got a good jump on that ground ball and turned it into an out. They're making a substitution. They've brought in the lefty, Phil Norton. Stepping up to the plate with a single already, Jock Jones. Fly ball hit the shallow left. That will fall in for a base hit. He's on with a single. Look from here like that one just rolled over and died once it left the infield. Ready for two. Now in the plate. Christian Guzman. He swung through the pitch. The pitcher tried to get the bat and go fishing, and he did, but came up empty. Oh. Hey. And here's the delivery. Guzman takes and the count goes to two and one. The count is even at two. And here's the pitch. Norton delivers a fastball out of the zone. That was a purpose pitch. He was trying to get the batter to chase. A partner, that walk was a direct result of him trying to be too fine. Up next with a homer already in the game, Brad Radke. Hey, partner, if the pitcher can keep the ball low in the zone, he might be able to induce a ground ball to start, too. Is in there for a strike, and it's 0-1. Taken for a ball. One out, two on. Two balls, one strike. Threw that curveball just out of the zone, but the batter didn't bite. 3-1 count. Sometimes you try to make the hitter chase your pitch. That's exactly what you saw right there. The bases are juiced with the walk. Looks to me like he tried to expand the strikes on there and neither the batter or the umpire went for it. Stewart comes to the plate. Ball. Didn't find the plate for a ball. He tried to set up the hitter. Throw one wide of the zone and see if he'll chase. Why not? Ball. A ball. Threw that curveball just out of the zone, but the batter didn't bite. The pitch is hit to center field. The center fielder is there easily. Griffey Jr. puts it away for the out. Runner on second will try to advance. Save! He beat it out. I don't think he went up there thinking sack fly, but he got one and it brought home a run. To me, that's a successful at bat. Misses for a ball. Swings late and misses. Pitch misses. A few more inches inside, and that guy would have had a free base, and he'd have had a bruise to go with it. He hits it down the line. They get out number three with runners stranded at the corners. In the middle of the inning, the Twins lead 5-1. Dunn hits this one to shallow right field. Tremendous over-the-shoulder grab. Hey, partner, he hustled his butt off there to make a great running grab. What's that out there? Swing and a miss. Partner, that's what you call a purpose pitch. He made the other guy swing and miss on one out of the zone. That's a pitcher strike. Fly to left field. Guzman puts it away. Next at the plate, Jason LaRue. He grounded out his last at bat. Two outs and nobody on. Hit to left field. The left fielder tracks the ball. Three up and three down. After seven, the score is five to one.
Leading off the eighth, Doug Minkiewicz. First baseman. Doug Minkiewicz. Shallow fly ball to right field. Castro can't cut it off. He reaches with a single. Minkiewicz must have been expecting that curveball, Kipe, because he really hammered it. him looking oh partner that was fat he's got to take oh. advantage of that mistake threw that curveball just out of the zone but the batter didn't bite oh. high for a ball with this count I don't think the pitcher can afford to throw another ball he's really in trouble right and knowing that the offense could take advantage and put the hit and run on the pitcher nailed the corner with that delivery right on target he fouled it off to the left Strike three Three-way. with the curve. Kite, that was an ugly swing. Now in play, Corey Husky. That's one out, here we go. Oh. Norton fires a fastball and misses. One and oh. This ball's going for the gap. Line sharply and through, a base hit. Koski reaches with one down. Well, the pitcher obviously didn't disguise that change up well enough because the batter was waiting all over for it. Up next with a pair of doubles, Matt LaCroix. Low for a ball. There's a strike with the changeup. Puts it away for the out. Okay, this guy's got great reactions, and he really showed it on that line drive. That was a bullet. First pitch. One ball, no strikes. Jones fouls it away. Misses outside. Fly ball hit the shallow left. That'll be a base hit. There's another single. Kipe, you can stick a fork in this guy. He is done. They need to go to the bullpen right now and get things back on track. Larkin gathers it in with his glove. They get the force out at second. The Twins lead the Reds 5-1. The Reds have activated the bullpen. Next up, Brandon Larson. Here's the pitch. There's a strike with the curveball. He takes it, and that's a strike. The 0-2 pitch. 1-2 count. Here's the pitch. He pulls a fly ball out to left. The left fielder drifts under the ball. Vanderwall steps into the batter's box. That gets through the hole for a base hit. He's on with a one-out single. Not much to say about that other than it raises the old batting average. Coming to the plate with one single today, Barry Larkin. First pitch. Kusha. The left fielder is drifting underneath it. Stewart makes the catch. At 
bat with a single, Sean Casey. One on and two outs. Fastball for a stride. Nice pitch in a good spot, right where the catcher called for it. Koski handles the grounder. That'll do it for the Reds. And we have one inning left to play. Entering the final inning, the Twins lead 5-1. Stepping in with one home run, Brad Radke. Swings and misses. There's strike two. The pitcher tried to get the bat and go fishing, and he did, but came up empty. He hits it down the line. Larson gloves the grounder. He's out. God, he made a pretty good play on that ground ball. I didn't think he'd get to it. Stepping in, Shannon Stewart. First pitch. Strike at the belt. Pitch said, come and get a big boy, but the batter could not touch that curveball. And that's strike two. Ball. The pitch misses. Good on. One and two pitch. Got him swinging. He goes right after this guy to get the strikeout. That is great stuff. Bat with Luis one home Rivas. run, Luis Rivas. Two down, two down out here. Hit the other way to the right side. Casey scoops up the ball. Got him. In the middle of the inning, the score is five to one. He's going back. At the track, the wall. That'll go for extra bases. He's on his way to second. Stand up double. The Twins have two right handers getting ready in the pen. Austin Kearns is the next hitter. There's a long drive. Way back and out of here. Hey, partner, that was sweet hit. He got his pitch and turned it around for a two run bomb. Radke sure would like to have that pitch back. He's going to have to shake that off in the group. They're making a change. The manager goes with the righty, John Douglas. Stepping in one for three, Adam Dunn. Hit foul. One and one, the count. Threw one out of the zone, but the fish weren't biting. Pitch taken for a ball. Swing and a miss. Pitcher said, come and get it, big boy, and the batter could not connect. He struck him out. His timing was way off on that strikeout. The pitcher made him look silly. And here comes the hook. Here's the relief pitcher, Juan Rincon. Castro is up. One oh count. Pitch misses for a ball. Two balls and no strike. Almost a great play. The ball glances off the fielder. He's out at first. The Twins are getting their bullpen ready. Jason LaRue digs in at the play. First pitch strike. It's foul. And that'll do it for this game. Out. 
Rincon closes it out for the save. Radke is the winner. Harang is saddled with the loss. The final score, the Minnesota Twins, five, the Reds, three.